Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to teach you Mendel and his laws of inheritance. Plan taken by him is P. Its scientific name is Pisum Sativum. The way of writing just below the Pisum, you have to underline and just below the Sativum, you have to underline. As we know that Pisum is a genus, so P must be capital and Sativum is the species, so S will be small. Next question for your exam that why Mendel had taken uh, Pisum Sativum plant. So the next important thing is that for the pea plant it is easy to breed and produce next generation in a short time. Then several distinct types are there in this plant. Bisexual flower that means both male and reproduct female reproductive organs are present and normally self pollinated. This is again very important point because when a flower or when a flower having both characters, both reproductive characters are there and the autogamy is there in that way, the plant is pure breed. That means we can get easily a pure variety that is homozygous. Seven pair of the contrasting characters were taken by, were noticed by the Mendel. I have taken only, I have taken only four because among these four characters, we will be discussing the next two laws of the Mendel. Number one, character number one, that is height of plant. This is the character and the traits are tall and short, where the tall is the dominant and short is the recessive. Next, color of the seed coat. Dominant one is the yellow color of the seed coat and the recessive character is the green color of the seed coat. Next character is shape of seed. Dominant is the round shape and of course the recessive is the wrinkled shape of the seed. Next is the color of flower. Dominant trait is the purple and white is the recessive trait for the pea plant. So first law is the law of dominance. Now there are few terms. First one is mono hybrid. When we make a cross in between one pair of contrasting characters consider we are going to talk about height. So the plant which is tall will write in this way capital T capital P T is crossed with small t and small t. Now why we have taken it in a pair. The reason is because these are two genes alternative alleles and if considered they are there on the chromosome. Just making a diagram for the easy reference there is no need to draw while writing the answer if the gene is located over here on one chromosome. So the next gene is located here on the next chromosome. This type of pair always termed as homologous pair where the shape, size, height, location always same in both the chromosome. So one T is here that is the gene and the another T is here. In the same way we can write that the small t small t and this is short plant. Here it is tall plant. Mono one pair of contrasting character. These two traits are contrasting to each other. That's why we are using the term contrasting character. When these two plants are ready to cross. So in that condition we will write P. This P stands for parent plants. And we can uh, see that both the genes are similar over here. So in this condition it is termed as pure. So it means that this tall plant is pure. It is pure. This short is it is always the homozygous recessive trait is always there in the pure. Next question arises that why we are using the term dominant and recessive. First of all going to make gametes for a plant. Consider here there is a separation that is meiosis. Meiosis means that division of the chromosome will be reduced up to half that means it will be like this one. So the one T, one gene will move in one gamete and another in another gamete. And one more interesting factor is that that the Mendel was not knowing the gene so he had used the term factor 
because till that time there was no discovery of gene for making the gametes over here that is small t and small t definitely if we are talking about the plants so one will be female that is xl and the another will be male that is of course the pollen grains having the male gamete now a cross is like this one one female is always there with one male what will be the result it is capital t and small t and again this female one is crossed with this one this is capital t and small t if a cross is there in between like this female one with this male then it is again capital t small t and if this crosses with this one it will be again capital t and small t now this generation is to be termed as first filial generation first filial generation this is termed as first filial generation now look at here there are few something very special thing that all these plants are tall all these plants are tall so a cross is there a cross is there in between tall plant and short plant but in f1 generation only one trait is visible that is tall and recessive is hidden so the question arises why it is known as law of dominance that means when a cross is made in between one pair of the contrasting character in that condition as a result in the f1 generation only one trait is visible of that particular character that is that visible trait is to be termed as the tall so this is the dominant one i am writing the d for this one dominant trait and the recessive trait is which is hidden that is short so uh, all those characters which were taken by me in that one as the dominant is always visible into the f1 generation now few specific terms for this law that for writing the dominant trait we always use them for ex we always use the initial of this word for example tall so we will indicate it as t but for writing the short or for dwarf we always use a small letter with respect to the this one to show that this is dominant and this is recessive this is dominant and this is the recessive next trait if we are taking in a monohybrid one consider we are taking the roundness of the seed so it will be capital r and capital r and if it is crossed with a recessive trait then it is small r small r now it is actually the parent generation p1 and when the gametes will be formed it is capital r and capital r and again it will be the small r and small r what will be the result the result is like this one capital r with a small r and again capital r with a small r so the result is like this one capital r is small r capital r is small r and the similarly it is there with this capital r and small r like this one also capital r and small r and what is missing this one and this one so ultimately again the result is capital r and small r now in the in this result also the cross is monohybrid because we have taken one pair of the contrasting character and that is shape of seed one pair of contrasting character monohybrid cross law of dominance taken two different traits of that particular character that is shape of seed and the visible trait is the roundness of seed in f1 generation that means the wrinkled condition is not visible the small r is not able to show its own uh, phenotypic appearance because of the presence of this capital r in each one now what is ll according to this rule the law of dominance so only one trait is visible now what is ll the ll is the alternative traits of genes for example roundness this capital r is there for the round that is shape of seed and the wrinkled is there another one so the two different alleles are capital r and small r in the same manner over here that is capital t and small t so the two different alleles are there for one character that is height so ll is the alternative trait of genes so law of dominance is the first law of mendel and it proves then a cross is made in between 
one pair of the contrasting character only one trait is visible so all these plants will be having a round seed over here now you can observe when i have taken plant over here this capital r capital r then both these alleles are similar when the alleles are similar in that condition here also the alleles are similar in that condition again we'll be using the term pure but it is termed as homo chigus c h e t y g o u s in this condition when it is written as capital r is small r so when two different alleles are present in one plant then we use the term heterozygous heterozygous